Welcome to the second in a series of screencasts on obtaining and manipulating microdata. These screencasts are keyed to economics and statistics courses at Wabash College, but they should prove useful to others as well. In the last screencast, what we did was go to IPUM CPS and select a couple of variables in preparation for a data extract. In this screencast, we'll complete that data extract. Previously, we went to select variables under person and gathered a couple of core demographic variables, age and sex. Now what we're going to do is get a couple more variables. First, let's go to education. Under education, we're going to select the educational attainment recode variable. And let's learn a little bit about that. If I click on that variable, you can go see uh, description. It's a combination of a couple variables. Um, the comparability of this variable, the universe. For our purposes, it's asked to people 15 and above. The codes, and this is going to be important, and you need to be aware that it's not simply grades 1, 2, 3, or 4, um, or 12, or whatever. Grades 1, 2, 3, 4 are coded as 0, 1, 0 actually 10, grade 12 is 70, and actually that's broken down 71 for 12th grade no diploma, 73 for high school diploma or equivalent, etc. So we're going to need to be aware of these codes. And this information is available in the data set we're going to be using, which is March 2012, and there are as usual some flags uh, which indicate situations where the data was imputed or allocated, basically where the CPS made an educated guess. Okay, we've got education. Let's go to the income section and we're going to gather information on wage and salary income. Once again, we can learn about this variable. Um, there's uh, This stuff is done in, in terms of dollars. There's some top code information. Uh, so, for example, we don't know if you make more than nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety seven dollars that's top coded and it should be noted that uh, there's some codes for people who are not in the universe and for missing data the universe I skipped over that is people ages 15 plus so that's income we're going to return now to select our sample we've got four variables no samples yet go to select samples and we could select all samples that would be a very bad idea because it would be an immense data set which would be difficult to work with instead of doing that let's collect data on the most recent as of this pod this excuse me this screencast uh, March 2012 so here we go we've got that submit the sample selections and now we're ready to actually extract our data to do that let's go to view our cart here it is. The card is just our collection of data. And we've got uh, March 2012 selected. We've got the year. This stuff is all pre selected. We'll talk about these weights uh, later on. But uh, for now, note that this is going to be somewhat important for us in trying to get accurate estimates of the population. Here are the variables we selected, age, sex, education, and wage and salary income. Let's go to create our data extract. So here we go. Let's go to the data format. We're going to change that, and we're going to make it Stata. This is one of the things which makes IPUMS very useful for economists and for, in particular, us at Webbush College because we've got Stata available. So this is going to come down as a data set, a Stata data set. Let's submit that information. If we wanted to, we could restrict people by age. So if we go here and by sex, let's not do so for now. So that's what we need to do. We're going to submit an extract. And now we've got to log in. So here it goes. I've got my relatively easy to remember password here. And as, uh, as you may have guessed, I've already got an account at uh, IPUMS. So now 
once again click submit abstract extract excuse me and I've done lots of extracts in the past so uh, this one's coming in and when the extract is ready it'll show up as data here but in the meantime I can take a look at um, the code book so if I go to basic here it's got information on the variables and uh, a bunch of stuff all these this is most important here all the codes education that's going to be very important for us as we go forward so for right now what I'm going to do is go wait for the email to come to me and I can actually hit uh, control R to refresh your screen and uh, if I do that several times nervously I'll eventually get it'll say stay here and I can download the data set which is going to be the subject of the next screencast